Hey everyone, so I'm back. It's me, Crystal, again from I'm Not My Hair Boo. Um, so this video will be about um, my pre opt um, for gastric sleeve. I'm in the process um, of going um, prepare for a gastric sleeve. Um, I was um, recommended for gastric sleeve after I had my orbital decompressions. Um, they stated that um, my weight needed to be managed to control um, fat collecting behind my eyes to um, minimize the reversal of the surgery or having the fat collect behind, the fat tissue collect behind the eyes and pushing them back out. So um, I am currently um, seeing the nutritionist. Um, I see her anywhere from two, once to twice a month. Um, I also see a surgeon. I see my surgeon once a month. I go in, I get weighed. We go over what I've been eating, how much weight I've lost. Um, when I was, when I first, when I went to my first appointment, okay, when I first was weighed um, before surgery with my orbital decompression, my highest, I would say I was at 338, 340. Um, when I went to the surgeon, um, because after speaking with my eye doctor, um, she recommended that I start a diet immediately as well because um, the condition of what, going, what was going on with my eyes and that the fat tissue collecting um, was also an additive problem with my um, with my eyes um, coming out, um, which I have um, propulsion, um, which my eyes um, dislodged from the socket in other terms, they were never in the socket because um, I didn't have um, I didn't have um, eye sockets that were um, wide enough to house them, and um, the fat tissue collected and it kept them um, further out, um, never able to sit in. Um, so. Um, then by the time I was I was referred to the surgeon, um, the bariatric surgeon, um, really the gastrologist, um, who will be doing the surgery. And I went to see him. Um, when I weighed in with him, I was at 328. So from 338 to 328. From the process before seeing him, I had lost um, approximately about 10 pounds. So now currently, after being seeing him and being um, and working with the dietitian, I am currently at um, 310. 310, yeah, about 310. So um, I will go in again next month on the 7th. I will be weighed. Um, I turn in my little packet with my contract at the sign saying I won't be I won't try to get pregnant um, eight, until um, I've had the sleep for um, 18 months um, I will um, not smoke I'm not a smoker um, and they said about getting pregnant because your hormones are um, your hormones are very high you're you're, you're pretty much very fertile during that time but they recommend 18 months be considering to consider um being pregnant getting pregnant because of um the changes your body will be going through so i had to sign that contract um i had to also go over the um the different um stages in which i need to prepare um i'm waiting for the psychologist um, appointment um, hopefully the psychologist is there when I see my surgeon next one on the 22nd and 27th one of them um, and a the nutritionist after that I've already seen um, the sleep study doctor I do have sleep apnea that's another reason for the surgery um, I do sleep with a CPAP machine um, it stated I stopped breathing over 16 times a night, so they would call me, I'm not, what is it, mild, moderate, 
severe. I'm moderate. So, um, yeah, I have moderate, meaning I'm, I'm not what they consider severe yet. And it's not mild to where I can't sleep without the machine. <laughs> I have to sleep with the machine. Um, let's see what else. Um, different um other um medical condition is my um as well as my BMI is over um the normal range. I am what they would classify as a obesity three, which is um morbid obese. Um, which I have a high um, rate of early death um, and it was stated that without surgery I might not make it to C40 <clears throat> in which I am 35 so um, we want to live a long and prosperous life so it's time to see to oneself and take care of um, what is going on with crystal so that crystal can be here for others um so again so i've again highest weight 338 340 um not a 310 so approximately 28 to 30 pounds have been lost um i want to say um next month will make my six month visit um so i think we're getting in a process to submitting to insurance so that we can set the so we can set surgery date. Um, they have been looking um, for doing it in June, so hopefully we we can stay with June, maybe even sooner. Either one is um, good. Um, once we find out surgery date, then I will start my um, I will start my pre-op diet. Um, which that will be consist of um, liquids. So I will be on a liquid diet either for a week or two weeks, depending upon what my surgeon will feel is best. Um, so this is the update. Um, next update will be after the 7th of April. Um, when I see the dietitian, go in, give. I don't like to let her weigh me because her scale be lying. I know. Her, yeah, her scale lies. Mm -hmm. And I like to be weighed by the surgeon. Um, I have this little crazy ritual. Um, I, I, okay, the story is I went and seen a doctor and I seen a new, I seen a doctor and a nutritionist twice in one month. And I want to say it was like 17 days in between and I went to go to the hospital to see them again and within those like five to seven days I had lost five pounds and I was like oh oh this is the outfit I will wear every time I come to the to see the fat doctor yes I call him the fat doctor um and I said so if I come every I gotta wear I will wear this same outfit and I'm wearing these same drawers the same socks in the same shoes so when I go there when I know that I'm seeing a nutritionist or when I'm seeing the um the surgeon I wear the same outfit I don't care if they get tired of these same turquoise pants in the black shirt with my with my little shoes my little ballerina shoes I'm going there with that same outfit and that's what I'm wearing every time they weigh me um but so that's the story about that <laughs> Um, so I will keep you all updated and, um, let you all know when surgery day will be and the process in which we're at, at the current moment. Right now, I'm working on getting myself prepared, um, for the liquid diet. So I've been drinking, um, protein. I've been substituting meals with protein shakes. So I would substitute the morning and maybe lunch or yeah, morning and lunch, sometimes dinner, but mainly it's um, breakfast and lunch that I will substitute. And then we will eat a light dinner, nothing too extravagant. 
um, I had to come up with my own little recipes with my own stuff and had to make sure it was colorful because it had to be interesting to me. Um, I'm from New Orleans and the way we come together, the way we show love to each other, it's always around a gathering and in the middle of that gathering there is food. So it's a part of the, cart, uh, of the culture. It's a part of the atmosphere. And so since I'm in this culture and I'm in this atmosphere daily, I had to be able to make meals that when I prepared it for my family that it still showed that I love them. And so I had to get very creative. Um, growing up, when I was taught, my mom said, when you cook food and when you prepare something for someone, if you don't do it with love, then don't serve it and don't give it. So I may have changed what I've ate in and come to a um, a better place of eating healthy. But when I came to that better place of eating healthy, I made sure I did it with love. So... Um, Hopefully, sometime soon, I can show you all what I've been eating, show you some of the meals that I do prepare, like the stuffed zucchini boats. Um, I do the shrimp scampi zucchini with um, side salads. There's several things. Um, bait, um, redfish. Um, I get creative. So, um, um, spaghetti squash. Um, I do like a yaki meat with, I do like a yaki meat with, um, spaghetti squash. Um, so if anyone's interested in knowing how to do those, let me know and hopefully I can show you how to do those. Um, and again, I'll be back with an update next month, April 7th. All right. Take care.